Welcome to RaceFace TV in this episode of RaceFace Driver Updates. We had a busy weekend for both the RaceFace drivers and the RaceFace Next drivers. Let's start off in the dirt with Sheldon Creed, who was at the DeCoin State Fairgrounds in DeCoin, Illinois on Monday in his number 28 United Reynolds Toyota. Sheldon dominated the opening half of the race, leading 44 of the first 46 laps before losing the lead under the first round of pit stops. Creed, the current ARCA Racing Series Championship points leader, would eventually drop into the back half of the top 10 before spinning on lap 97. He would finish 10th. Creed retains his unofficial points lead by 190 points over teammate Zane Smith, heading into this Friday's night Shore Lunch 200 at Lucas Oil Raceway in Brownsburg, Indiana. Now, Sam Mayer was at Hickory Motor Speedway for the 150-lap Bobby Isaac Memorial for the NASCAR Wheel and All-American Late Model Series in his number nine Menards back Chevrolet for Junior Motorsports. However, Sam's race was over nearly as soon as it started. Firing off from the 17th spot, the field checked up in front of the 15-year-old Wisconsin driver. Driving low to avoid the contact, Sam encountered a car that had fully stopped and could not avoid it, slamming into the rear of that machine and doing significant damage that ended his night in 21st. Up next for Sam, ARCA Racing Series at Lucas Oil Raceway in Brownsburg, Indiana on Friday, and then the Cars Tour at Orange County Speedway on Saturday. Now, MAV-TV will have live coverage of the ARCA race starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday the 7th. Raceface Next driver Joe Valento also had a busy weekend, and it all started at Princeton Speedway, where Joe took his number 03 Micro Sprint to a heat race win, then finished fifth in the feature race. Then it was on to North Central Speedway at Brainerd, Minnesota for the Mighty Axe Nationals, a two-day event. This would be the largest track that Joe had run on all year. Nursing a fuel pickup problem, Joe was able to finish six in his heat and then brought home a sixth in the feature. Then it was back to Brainerd for night two, where he finished fifth in his heat race, but got caught up in a wreck when a car spun in front of him and he was unable to finish because of major damage to his car. Up next for Joe, Thunder Hill Raceway on Friday night. The QMA Rocky Mountain Fall Nationals were held this weekend at the Budweiser Event Center in Loveland, Colorado. That's where we find next drivers Cassidy Hines, Justin, and Colby Sokol, and to say they had a great weekend would be an understatement. On Saturday, Cassidy finished first in Heavy Animal, second in Light World Formula, and second in Heavy 160. On Sunday, she finished second in Heavy 160, second in Light World Formula, and third in Heavy Animal. Now on Saturday, Justice finished first in Heavy 160 and Heavy World Formula and third in Unrestricted Animal. On Sunday, Justin finished first in Unrestricted Animal and Heavy 160 and second in Heavy World Formula. Now on Saturday, his brother Colby was first in Senior Animal and Light World Formula and second in Light 160. Then on Sunday, he would win in both Senior Animal and Light World Formula and a third place in Light 160. Now that's a lot of racing. Again, my hat goes off to the parents of these young racers. As I've always said, they are the hardest working people in all of racing, and that is quarter midget parents. I wanna take a moment and welcome our newest driver, Timmy Tyrell, better known as Minnie, to the Race Face family. You will be hearing a lot from this young driver over the coming weeks. Well, that's it for this week's driver updates. Make sure to catch up on any show that you might have missed at raceface.tv on demand. Remember that we offer Dale Jr. Download from Dirty Mo Media and the Stock Car Show from Race Chaser Media. Please make sure to like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash raceface TV. We are on a mission to get 20,000 likes by Sunday, so make sure to like our page and share with your racing friends. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities, and we'll see you back here next week 
with more driver updates from your favorite race face drivers.